God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. It's the 59th anniversary of our independence. So far, exactly on 6th March 1957, up to this year, 2016, there's a lot that has been done. Right here on the 59th independence anniversary, this is CMP TV, Ghana, right here, representing everything that will go on a land that this director of education is in. There's a lot that we will get to ask them in terms of the youth and development. So watch out. We're getting in to see exactly what happens right here on this Independence Day. Stay tuned. Some of these projects and programs include consoling one number six unit classroom block with ancillary facility at Gada. Consult one number three unit classroom block with ancillary facility at Nada to Basic Two at Okafo. Consult one number twelve unit classroom block with ancillary facility at Amuzu Kope and Opekuma Basic Schools. The implementation of school based performance appraisal mechanism to measure the performance and out of teacher, teachers in schools within the municipalities. Fellow countrymen and women, you will agree with me that. The sound and good economy of every nation resides in the health of its people. This is the reason why the government has embarked upon the provision of modern hospitals and clinics as well as upgrading of existing health facilities to facilitate speedy health and del care delivery to the people of this country. There are currently some health facilities embarked upon to be executed within this municipality. This includes construction of ultra-modern polyclinic at as part of the Kaswa Interchange Project, construction of community health improvement program chip compound at Amuzu Kope and Crispo City. The municipality will also benefit from the construction of a 250-bed hostel project through a public-private partnership arrangement with South African investor with support from Office of the President. These projects, when completed, will collectively deliver improved health care and what? service within the municipality. My brothers and sisters, while we continue to build more schools, hostels and clinics, other critical sectors such as road, water and sanitation, among others, continue to engage our attention. The Assembly has, in collaboration with the Ghana Water Company, procured pipes to extend pipe bond water to selected communities within the municipalities. The project is endlessly being executed to provide portable water to our people. The Kaswa Entertainment Project, which is considered as the live wire to the economic prosperity of our economic prosperity of our municipality, is seriously being executed. Apart from providing jobs to the teaming youth of this municipality, will transform the road sector of the entire municipal. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important to mention commitment of government to improve on the sanitation of our communities and neighborhoods. That is why the first Saturday of every month is being declared by the Minister of Local Government and Rural Development as a day set aside to observe as National Sanitation Day. I wish to appeal to all and sundry to endeavor and participate in the National Sanitation Day activities anytime the program is to be observed in our communities. And also direct the Director of Education and the schools here that everybody should take the last week for the, uh, the Sanitation Day to clear its environment at the school's compound and all others before living for home. My dear school children, this country is investing in you through education and healthcare so as to empower you to secure your future. But all this investment will go down the drain if you don't take your studies seriously. We are aware that many of you are already adepts of a computer and ICT. The truth, however, is that these technological advancements are rapidly affecting and negatively influencing the life of some of our youth. Our culture and moral values are being gravely undermined through the internet and we should be wary of it. Our society is seriously confronted with the challenges of split between knowledge and morality. I, will, I wish to entreat you to rather use the internet and other modern gadgets only for academic purposes. I wish to further urge you to work hard and strive for excellence. Know your environment and the greater world in which you are living. This will enrich your personality, your community, the nation, and 
and humanity in general. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, let me congratulate all of all those paraded here for a wonderful and beautiful depiction of the area. And wish to also inform all of you that, as we all know, election is just by the corner, and therefore we should not allow ourselves to be misused by us as politicians for a negative uh, campaign. We will want to have a peaceful election. Kaswa has always been peace, and we hope that the traditional council, as well as the opinion leaders in Kaswa, will always call us politicians to order when we mess up. And we should be informing our youth, especially those who are actually trying to exercise their bodies. It is beautiful to be man Ghana and use it purposely for a beautiful thing in your community than to use it for any violence that may not end at all. We are being at peace in Kaswa all the time and wish everybody to be at peace with its neighbor. Fellow citizens and youth of Ghana, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish all of you a happy 59 independent anniversary. I also thank all of you for handing the invitation to this parade. Long live Ghana, long live Kaswa. God bless all of you. Thank you very much.
March pass over. May I have your permission to march off the colors and stand the praying at ease for your awards, sir. Kaswa, the whole of the regional central region, BC ranking, then the other first. Apache out there, let's say that a Juman I had to a woman, oh yeah. Do you want more? You will be proud of it. Say yeah, you become national, and that is our target for now. More today, be we catch you there. West Africa here in Nigeria, and now Africa have best school. Our Kaswa, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. The money is the one. And there, if you want to pass out, the mad boy here. We will catch you there. Otunfu, Okora, Oyi, Tichesa. Watch out the power for the whole of the country. Next, we will select to be no be for Kaswa hard man. Next, say there. Yes, to bond for Papa. Yes, yes, it was Papa. It was Oye. Next day, the Joshua, the Akansam, the Kra Afa, my brother now. Why are the Omar and my brother Bey? I want ya. What we need? Want ya? A good grade in the BC. Now, if ya, you want some so what you want? But on on my office, ma, Matinasi, Nanche, teachers, the new Bino citation. Next, I'm a very old school. No better one. As I hear you, no one pass away. I say I'll transform you. Into nine years, on the nine decade, yes, nine are transformed among for our lives, and that is why we are seeing we are changing lives because on the results now are sorry. Yes, sir. Do we are in your butter? No, in time, my dear can. I don't want to see. I'm in some mood now. Thank you very much. So far, the the best school, the most enterprising private school of the year 2015. Now, young executive school, and I'm then about to body one second. Now, MC, Doctor Adam Snow, and then uh, all the Achazi, all the Shawansa certificate to come on for forever. School, you are at the Papa. Now, our precinct, look, one number one. It's our precinct. Now, my assembly here in there. See, sir, you both tell me, please. For one year, now don't be so so. So Jum, I had to go to school. I need performance very well, sir. You must have tried another year, man. It is giving of this money for the one year depends on his performance in the school as well. 
So you are doing very well. Then you keep on so for the three years you will finish the school without paying any fees. The same thing also happened to our sister, was it? Benita Ousu Yabua, and be more than those who are the opening. Thank you very much. All right, so they emerge the best of the certificate of merit, and that is Olukwankwe AME Zion. Boss, how do you feel? We feel great. We feel great. We are expecting this all, all this while. Today or this year has become so ours, and uh, we love it. We are great for it. Now, after this awards, what should you expect from you as a school? As a school, we are praying to continue and then maintain this award for at least three or four times. It seems they've been the school that is emerging all winners right here at this Independence Day. Young executive, you emerge as the best point for the match and, and every award that is going on here, you win. How are you making it? It's not easy. You know, penetrating through areas where we have big, big schools, you need to do a lot. The dean of hard work, academics and then uh, commitment. That is uh, helping us, and God's truth is always, always on our side. So that is the best, and we thank God for that. Yeah, the aim and the vision of the director is to produce quality people to occupy positions in the near future. So we are always excelling, and we want the best. Now, last year, we won the Heroes Award, the whole West Africa, BC. Now this time, we want to be beat that same point. It was 23 records, that is 2306 out of 25. The, the least grade was 27, uh, 7, 07. But this time, we are presenting 30, uh, 37. And we want 06, 37. 37, 06. That is what we are showing the whole Ewutu Senior East Municipal. Thank you very much. We must thank you so much, young executive. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. All right, so Ghana, our beloved country, is free forever. And it's all about the 59th Independence Anniversary. Right here at Kaswa, Olikwangwe AME Zion. This is CMP TV, and it's an honor to have myself with you, the MC of Ewutu Senya Municipal. Honorable, I welcome you to CMP. Thank you very much, brother. Now, I know you don't have time. How significant that this occasion means to you? Well, it means a lot to all of us, especially those of us in government and then the, the citizenry at, at large. Well, it reminds us of our past and the struggles that our forefathers went through to get this independence so that we will not go back into those things. As you all know, yes, we have gone, we have been, in, we are independent now, but there is other more challenge that we need independent from. Independent from economic stability, independent from other, other things, poverty, independent from other things that we need, income and all those things. And these are the reasons why we said that, look, we must celebrate it, but always pick a topic that may transform the life of the people. That's what we have done today. You have done a very great job today. If I see all the awards you gave, it's very inspiring. Now, what is the message for your youth? Simply because the youth expect a lot from people like you. What are you to tell the youth? In fact, you can see the theme of the occasion was using education to transform uh, what is the community. So we are transforming them. And we are happy for three years where we have reached so far. Where from zero now, we are leading the, the region at education. Where we have seen that our, our children are getting what is it? They are doing well to travel. Uh, what is it? To go to other schools. We have our best students coming from us, best schools in this district, and then we are grateful. So I believe this is what is calling for us as an assembly to give our best to this, and we are grateful. And I believe it's the support of the parents and all others that we have reached where we are now. Well, I don't want to sound political, though, but it's got into a point of an election year, and very hopefully you have been assigned as one of the aspirants for this year's election. What do you tell Ghanaians as an aspirant? Oh, it's simple. They, should, they just vote based on developing their area. Because, as you said, the independence was a struggle. So also, political stability is a struggle. So also, income is a struggle. Education is a, everything is a struggle. And therefore, when you look at what you are doing, if you are, give us that opportunity, this is a Kaswa, for instance, where we came from, where we have reached. And if you change government, the, what comes up is that what will be, what it, it's only going to have your attention somewhere else. 
So that is why we are telling them it's an opportunity for them to vote massively for NDC so that we can be able to accomplish where we want to reach today. Ghana has. What do you tell Ghanaians? Because we expect a lot from Honorable Adam. What do you tell Ghanaians? It's as simple as we are giving the best. And the best is that we will transform life, uh, uh, transform the people, and then change life of people. That's exactly And change is taking place. You have seen the change. If the last were zero, and now we have shown the evidence of people getting even scholarship that we are giving, that it tells us that there's a change in Kaswa, which has never occurred in our discipline. So we think that is all we are doing. So we give an opportunity so that we can do more for them. Let's give him the opportunity for him to do a lot for Ghana, for Kaswa, and then for the development of our nation. Honorable, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I do not have only Anamo. Now, when we talk about security, there's a lot going on this time around. It's an honor to have the municipal commander-in-chief for Kaswa, and I will ask not a lot from him, but basically on security, because my concern for the MPs for Ghana is very important. Anamo. As a security, for the security of our country, there's a lot going on. What do you give an advice for the youth? Oh, uh, good afternoon to your viewers. And uh, what I want to tell the youth is they should be serious, patriotic. I mean, this uh, March pass, uh, looking back, those days when I was a child and also taking part in the March pass. I never even later did I know that one day I also aspired to this position to also come and take salute. You saw that I saw the people, uh, the youth, some of them were taking the, the, everything seriously. And I congratulate them. The energy that they have, the vibe, the patriotism. They should be patriotic. They should not, there's no any shortcut to uh, uh, riches. They should take their studies seriously. And at the end of the day, God will bless them with their good jobs. Oh, well, if that uh, independence was won in. 1957, God has blessed our homeland Ghana. I believe that the blessings are there. God has always showered his blessings. Looking at our sub region, we could see uh, some countries are in war. So we were ahead of Ebola, everything. But Ghana was not part. Ghana was not touched. Even a point in time, look as if we ourselves, the, uh, the media, excuse me, we are still the, the, the Ebola was within within us. But at the end of the day, we sanitized everything. But thank God, it never came about. This it really shows that God has indeed blessed Ghana. And then the God bless it is still with us, and I know that inshallah, and go by His grace, we will reach the promised land. Commander, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, not only that, I must touch on in terms of education, and education has done a lot in our locality, in our nation, and in the whole of the world. It's an honor to have the municipal directorate of education right here in Kaswa on this 59th independent anniversary. Mrs. Rebecca Akun is right here with me. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's on education. Yes. Now, we based on it that we are citing for the youth in terms of the team for this occasion. Yes. Tell the youth of this country in terms of education something. Okay, uh, you know that education is the bedrock of development in every nation. And Aoutu Senya East is not doing badly at all in terms of uh, development. Uh, though our municipal is very young, we are making very, very high strides in education. As you could see, an award from even the Otunfuo uh, is here. And then a uh, best school in West Africa. So far as BEC is concerned, it's also in Kaswa. So in terms of education, we are doing well. And I hope that our assembly is also investing in the youth. And once you invest in your youth, then it means that you have a vision. Otherwise, if you don't invest in the youth of tomorrow, what are you going to do when you are not around? So I'm happy that our assembly is collaborating with the Municipal Directorate of Education and we are doing all we can to put our youth on a higher pedestal. Mommy, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's been fun, it's been very educative, but a lot that's supposed to be done in Ghana and the whole of Africa. As Kwame Nkana said, 
the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it's linked up with the total liberation of Africa. So Africans will be one. That was what has been happening right here at Kaswa Odubambe, AME Zion. And this is where we try in celebrating Ghana's independence. It's been fun. And this is how we end the whole show right here in Kaswa. My name is General Yao Amwa, and I represent CMP Ghana TV. Thank you so much.